Oh, look who fi look who finally showed up. Heat and AC coming in hot. Heat and AC coming in hot. Would you guys take lunch again? Don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Don't even want to talk about it. Uh, how's your day going, Casey? Not good. You want to tell YouTube all about it? Casey doesn't want to talk about it. Casey doesn't talk about it. The world is officially coming to an end because of all of the price increases across the board uh, that are just inherently, what did he say? What did he say? 500, or no, 100 feet of pipe cost $500 yeah. for the gas line. But anyway, guys, what is going on? Welcome back. That is not what we are here to talk about or do today. We've got something honestly really, really cool and interesting today that, uh, you know, Michael and I have seen on the uh, on the old internet before but have never had the chance to really mess or play around with right yeah hey that's a nice jacket man well thank you wow that's a nice jacket so this what's that lots of pockets lots of pockets for lots of stuff so you can carry a, a backup uh candy in there mm -hmm. mm, nice anyway guys uh so this is actually a new piece to make this already awesome brand new diamond sea trailer even better, uh, the guys at Diamond Sea actually sent us out this piece for the trailer that we're going to be installing and testing out. Like I said, seen a lot about, seen a lot of hype about it, but have never actually officially got to test it or even install it or, or even see one in person, honestly. So if you guys have been living under a rock, we are actually giving away this brand new Diamond Sea trailer. Make sure you guys get entered to win at uh, wrenchworks.com. You could literally win this trailer for $1. Every dollar is an automatic entry. Flipping her on. When you're done talking, you know. Oh yeah, because that thing's gonna kick on. So anyway, boys, get, oh, and girls. I Michael, I actually got, uh, someone sent me a DM. She's like, you know, you always say for the boys or boys, but there are women who watch with their, you know, so boys and girls, if you're not entered to win this trailer, I, you know, just do it. Just do it. You need to get yourself some high quality t-shirt, high quality sweatshirt for the winter. Get yourself a nice jacket. But anyway, enough of the shameless plug for the trailer. Again, huge thank you to the guys at Diamond C for uh, supplying us with our magical piece that we're gonna be installing today. And uh, you know, we might need to gain access to the front part of the neck here. We've got some uh, wheels and tires that somebody hasn't uh, bought yet, but really, Michael, you know, you know, you want to know what I really think they're going to be interested in. It's these unit, unit of a wheel and tire package for the caddy. Looking good, you know? you know, Michael's just, you know, the look, the look is not complete if you don't have some white walls or some yellow stripes. So, I mean, <laughs> you got it. We got the, we got the yellow stripes on these bad boys, you know? Anyway, you can go ahead, flip her on, and uh, we're going to start working up here in the, in the neck area, and we're gonna open up this beautiful package in here, see what we got. My good tank? Yep. This thing need injectors? No. It's cold. It's a cold start, man. You never heard of cold start before? <laughs> All right, so what we've got here is a new mailbox, <laughs> as Michael would call it. I mean, it looks like a mailbox. Always safety first with the uh, open blade. Hold on, let's 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 do that. Let's let's get let's let's get this angle first because this is I have a feeling this is the money shot right here. Shocker Shocker hitch. Gooseneck surge. Wow. Shocker hitch, gooseneck surge, shockerhitch.com, made in the USA. I'm pretty sure I actually I don't want to misspeak. I know that Diamond uses these, so that means they must be good. But look at this unit. So what we're gonna do today, boys, is we are going to, and girls, 
we are going to install this and then we're gonna go drive around and see if the hype is worth it. I mean, you, you've you been curious to see if the hype is worth it on this too, right? I have. Not them, you personally, right? Yes. I mean, like, we've, we, I think we've actually talked about this previous to this engagement of like, man, like, I, I don't think these are the cheapest things in the world to go buy. Like, are they actually worth it? I'm actually curious because uh, I'm not just saying it, this is actually the smoothest riding trailer loaded and unloaded that I've ever even towed. So if it gets any better than, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just very interesting. Oh. Gotta have your ball grease. Yes, that was intended to be a dirty comment. Get over it, internet. How's your dirty ball grease smell? You know, it just smells like some, <laughs> some dirty, some dirty balls. You know. <laughs> Probably edit that out. <laughs> nope, not gonna edit it out. You know what? Because this is actually the real Greg, and if people only knew the amount of uh, inappropriate comments that happen on a daily basis, you know, they might. I mean, maybe, maybe they tune in more. I don't know. Here, this is, this is, this is why you're here. Oh, paper. Uh, that's for you to read. Hmm. They already installed some some dirty ball grease. Nice. Sure that you want to know what I think is even funnier. I'm just imagining. I should I should replay my cameras on the house and watch the delivery driver. Oh, oh gosh. He 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 was like, why why do you hate me today? Why? Mm -hmm. There's a low pressure hitch that works by tow resistance. Set air pressure at approximately 15 psi. Test drive. Increase in five pound increments until optimal results are found. Heavier trailers may require more air pressure than light or empty trailers. Always grease balls a ball before using. This provides a smoother hitch. Maintenance should include greasing the main cover. So start out at 15. It said start out at 15. This is a pretty light trailer and we're gonna be empty. So I was actually kind of curious if you like needed to, I guess, play with this uh, pressure. Obviously it sounds like it does. Like like say you go from a heavy trailer to a light trailer, you're gonna have to like somehow have air on board. You know what I mean? Like that would make it optimal, I would assume. Well, but well. I guess there's nothing to it but to get to installing. Luckily we've got our croissant wrench and I don't think, I mean, the only thing that might help us, I guess, right here is just measure from here to here to down there. Man, I got like 16 and a half. Oh, we should be good. I was getting a little worried about uh, these adjustment points because they look kind of low compared to that one, but obviously you got some extendo extendo points obviously down here so interesting okay some girth next to your ball grease oh now we're just getting <laughs> now we're really just uh demonetized <laughs> <clears throat> man your crescent wrench is the wrong way it's gonna strip that nut out man this is just getting I mean, I know I've been hitting the gym a little bit, but I mean, I don't know, wow. Golly, I'm gonna rip my shoulder off. Oh my gosh. Did you hit yourself when it hit? <laughs> Got hit by a damn croissant. These croissants slap, bro. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Unofficial install video. <laughs> Hit us up for the most official <laughs> of official review videos. Nothing but pure science that goes on right here, okay? Somebody gave her the she ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some juice in there. <clears throat> Very nice. Now, can I, you might have to put that down because this is a heavy. <laughs> Or, or maybe just pick up the pin and help me do the pin. Holy Toledo. Definitely not a weight reduction mod, people. Does that go forward or backwards? I'm pretty sure forward. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the jokes as I'm doing this. Oh. Let's try the middle one first. Oh wow, look at that. That's cool. Huh. Ball grease. Max weight gross 30,000, tongue 6,000, do not exceed vehicle weight ratings. We would never do that. Who do they think we are? So I guess, yeah, I mean. I guess just straighten her up. We should probably read the instructions. What do you think? Hmm. I mean, I know you wouldn't, but I mean, what? That's pretty much right on the money right there. That look pretty straight to you? Oh yeah. Was that too silly for you? <laughs> you? Made fun of me last time. I was a little too silly. <laughs> now it does say to torque these to your specific trailer torque specs. I'd put anti-seize on there for sure. <clears throat> All right, you're gonna have to go inside and get that. They didn't. I mean, we got some. Are you sure you don't want to use some good, just high-quality grease? No, I don't care. <laughs> but you do. All right, so you want me to go get some sauce? Sauce is always good. Sauce. What's she doing? <laughs> I was honestly like, I don't want to anything with my hands. Uh, so step number 3.7. Oh my gosh. Oh, well the container's breaking anyway, so. It's gonna be bad no matter what is, ha is gonna happen here. Oh, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> Here we go. Such a nice applicator that you have there. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I think step 3.75 subparagraph two was just over apply and use your finger. I guess that's the lock. There we go. Good to go. Uh, I guess the uh, the one thing that uh, we had talked about this uh, this thing right here needs some air, and I was like, man, kind of stinks that you got to carry air around to like adjust this if you're going to go from trailer to trailer. But with the Diamond C, it's got air ride. 
which Michael pointed out, and I totally forgot about, that if you want to pop that open, or I can do it. Man, we've got air right here. So we can uh, we can actually plug right into uh, plug right into that. Adjust our pressure. You got the you want to hand me my hand me my apparatus. Well, do you think this will reach? Yeah, it should. Oh man. Oh man. No. <laughs> it's like the bend of the hose. <laughs> oh, that's already at 25. I think it said to start at 15, right? Yeah. All right, we're at 16. That's cool. All right, well, no one cares about the installation. They want to know if it's worth it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out on the road. And we're going to see if this thing gets any smoother, I guess. Looks cool. I mean, it does It does look like you know what you're doing. You know, I will give it that. It seems to uh, offset the trailer a little further back, too. Maybe like short bed short bed guys i've seen the short bed guy thing like i know that those usually move like about a foot to six inches like technically right here we're only i would say that we are oh <laughs> dear <Darryl. laughs> hey you want to you want to double check that measurement oh uh, yeah you know what i mean like if i'm going by uh you know folded in half i mean so i would say about three inches oh offset you know that measurement pretty good, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've heard, you know, got some some people have told me, you know what I mean? So. Oh. so what are we doing? Oh, just, you know, giving her the old retort, you know. It's a hot retort on a cylinder head. Well, right or wrong, we put it down on the pan, right? Right, you know what? This is about as unofficial as official gets. All of the towing guys out there, Let's 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 make it interesting because it's gonna let's the comment section is out of control. Hashtag Grantham. When you do the coupler, I've seen it done both ways. Do you set the weight of the coupler on the pin? Like put the weight down on here so you're kind of on the pin, or do you leave the weight off of it while you're doing the pin? Right? Did I say that right? Like, uh, yeah. Put the weight on it, then do these, <laughs> or let it free float with no weight. So uh, essentially, do more pointing. Okay. So sleeve coupler weight of the trailer down on here. So basically, we're resting on the pin before we tighten this. Or do you set the pin in here with no weight? down so this is kind of like loosey-goosey like you could still lift it up and down and tighten these down because i guess our way of thinking is say you don't set weight down in between the two you tighten these and say you hit a jolt and this is not on the pin well then it's gonna slip or come down because these are really just glorified set screws i i don't know but i and michael have always put the weight down on the pin before tightening these so we're redoing that no. we are redoing that you know we're just we're, we're keeping it as real as possible huh you know what it's gonna ride like what <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a cadillac sting like a b baby this is it you ready for the test this is gonna be the test you know where you know where you know where i'm going with this right oh this is, the, her tracks? this is the jump that we haven't jumped yet. Uh, what? We're gonna jump a truck over these trail road tracks, but first, <laughs> first what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the shocker hitch. Have you have you been able to notice the difference in this first two seconds of our drive? Bro, I didn't even know there was a trailer back here. <laughs> well, that was kind of smooth though. 
I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Like, I heard the trailer behind me. I didn't really feel a whole lot. Like, again, this is a very, very, very smooth riding trailer to begin with. I feel like those railroad tracks, like, should we hit it going like 50 maybe? Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Man, that's shockers. <laughs> dude, dude, did we just, people are very upset right now. People are very upset. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm, ve I'm very sorry, sir. Who YouTubes and drives? What a, what a official review, my boys and girls. Well, if you're wondering how it stops, quickly, I also didn't feel the trailer behind me. Brakes on the other hand may have found us something. I feel like with the bumps, it takes the uh, front to back jerking way better. Like when you hit a railroad tracks, it kind of, yeah, yeah, it does Gives that. Gives you that? Mm-hmm. I didn't really like feel a whole lot, but maybe we should go back and hit it like 50, 60 miles an hour, you know? Yes. Sounds like a plan. All right. Through a 25 mile an hour school zone. <laughs> Without our seatbelts on. Michael's got his on because he's a good good boy. That's right. Mm. We switched to bangs if anybody cares. More caffeine. One of us did. <laughs> This is 35. This is fairly. Right. Um, whoa. No way. That Dude. Was, that was smooth. That. I don't think. You'll never be able to tell that on camera. Like, <laughs> that was way smoother than anticipated. It makes me want to go 50 over it now. Right. I was honestly cringing because I'm like, this is going to not be okay. That was good. That was good. Shocker 5000. Shocker 5000 coming in clutch like that. That's a unit. That passed my unit test right there. <laughs> Dude, that was good. Right? I thought so. Man, I thought that was amazing. I've hit I've been over that maybe more than you have and that's been pretty rowdy. That's not a smooth railroad track. If you I mean there's there's no such thing as a smooth railroad track. Are you okay? Did you drop your phone? All right, how many thumbs up do you give the uh, Shocker Hitch 5000? Three. Three? You only have two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, anyway, to wrap up this video, um, that, that railroad track uh, jump sold me on on this hitch uh honestly like i said i'm not going to claim to say this is the worst riding trailer that i can see that big of them <laughs> <laughs> hey well you could give it you could have given it four then you could have taken your other glove off yeah it's cold out but uh it, i don't know why you wouldn't go get this if you guys have like a normal rough-ish riding gooseneck i feel like honestly 
every gooseneck out there should probably have this now. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much sold. I don't know what these things go for. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm sure they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but honestly, I I mean, you're with me. I know you're with me. Like, I hate riding in a gooseneck that beats you up for what, you what about the wear and tear on your trailer, especially enclosed trailers compared to the or your in interior panels. Oh, you know what, actually? You know what, sorry, sorry guys. You guys are not gonna get this with the trailer giveaway because I'm gonna put it on the, I should put, I need one for the enclosed, I didn't even think about that. Wow, mind, I'm, I'm gonna order one for everything, honestly. Uh, honestly, two, three, four thumbs up for me. I would say if you guys have a gooseneck trailer and you're interested in getting one. Now I will say this is a unloaded trailer and a very, it's it's more of a first impression. It's not a review. I will save my review because we actually have a 12 hour road trip coming up loaded uh, through very bad construction zones. And I feel like that will be the really good test of how much improvement this thing can do. I wasn't completely, completely sold because we're on smooth roads, but man, the railroad tracks, I feel like sold me and the next 12 hour trip coming up in the next day or so, I will check back in with you guys on this. But this shocker hitch is going to come with the trailer giveaway. Like I said, guys, if you are not entered in the trailer giveaway, now is the time, don't delay. We ship fast, our clothes are awesome. Michael does not come with the trailer giveaway. Uh, he will not be included, uh, if you guys were wondering. I tried to do that. It doesn't really do anything to that. We'll have to uh, mess with the uh, air PSI when we, uh, when we load a truck or two on it. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys found this somewhat entertaining and interesting. Actually, I know you guys did. So anyway, give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're not already. Get entered in the trailer giveaway. We will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.